Now, the Tunisian Coast Guard says at least 29 migrants drowned after two boats sank as they attempted to cross the Mediterranean to Italy on Sunday. That brings to at least six the number of vessels that have sunk in the past five days. Another eight boats and around 3,000 people have been detained during the same period. Now, the surge in crossings has been driven in part by an official campaign in Tunisia against undocumented migrants from sub-Saharan Africa. Most of the boats are attempting to reach the Italian island of Lampedusa. Officials say that they are overwhelmed after over 2,000 migrants arrived over the weekend. Unprecedented numbers for the uh, southern island. My colleague Isian Blattery spoke to Sara Presciani from the human rights organisation Euromed Rights. And she began by asking her for the latest on the situation. Aeromant Rights has been following the, um, the situation of migrant and refugee in Tunisia for several years and we have seen um, in the last year an increase of uh, lack of protection of migrant and refugee, uh, difficulties in access of labour markets. The situation um, became to be uh, more and more complicated after the 21 of February. How do you think the political climate in Tunisia is impacting the migrant crisis? In this climate of hate speech against migrant and refugee, um, there was uh, the, we have been noticed several uh, arbitrary arrestation. Migrants have been losing their job, their apartment, and the general climate of fire, of fear um, for migrant and refugee. That have been pushing a lot of them uh, to try uh, to cross the sea, risking their life. And several shipwrecks happen. Uh, Twenty nine bodies have been found, but uh, probably many other shipwrecks uh, happen. If we look at the number, the figure of migrant arriving and landing in Italy um, from January 2023, we see that the first two nationalities are Ivory Coast and Guinea. And that's also the main nationality present um, in Tunisia. So that means there are both Tunisia leaving the country, but also migrant and refugee. That's uh, for many regions, for the economic and social situation, for the political one, for the fear they especially are uh, leaving migrants and refugees, uh, pushing them to uh, escape the country. Is there anything that NGOs or the local government can do to improve the situation? A lot of shipwrecks are happening in international water and European water. That's also a lead to a lack of search and rescue um, uh, by member states. So we have to remind also to member states that we, they have a duty of search and rescue and the European Union to put in place a proper search and rescue operation at new level. Um, so the efforts must be done from the European side, uh, pushing Tunisia not as done until now only to strengthen border capacity but to protect migrants and to respect human rights.